now. I hear you talking about we a lot, or you speak French now. Giving me the sign, so I gotta take a hit now. It's after 2 a.m., and that's asking a lot of you. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, I'm your bestie, I'm doing a wig review on wig fever, I've used them before and I was dying to try them again, I will be showcasing this water wave hair, ready to wear, look, lace wear, do y'all see this, lace wear, like it came out the box y'all like this i couldn't make this up if i wanted to now one thing about wig fever they always gonna give you some goodies in the box so it came with two wig caps and i love the fact that each one was a little different a comb lord knows i needed that because i might be stealing uh, a band wig fever band and a little sun sun put on to melt my lace and we love the bonnet i think i got like a couple of those now, I love the little referral sheet because babyish, babyish. And they gave me a little discount to go off. Yeah, yeah. Now, what you're going to need, some got to be glue, some um, do grow oil, and some spritz. And one more thing, before I go ahead and start the process, make sure y'all braid y'all hair down. Now, look. But Maya braided my hair down, so y'all don't be making fun of me. Uh, it was my first time my baby corn rolling, and I think she did a good job. Now, it's a lot going on on top of my head, but we just going to embrace what she did, because that's what she did, and that's what my baby did, you know? So, um, I left, like, the edges out. Y'all going to see why in a minute. So, I'm going to go ahead and use one of these wig, wig caps that they gave me. And um, as y'all can see, it's two wig caps. And this bad boy is transparent as God green earth. So I'm going to go ahead and put this thing on my head like this. Like this. Um, and as y'all can see, like, not only is the wig that I got is lace wear, but with the wig cap is lace wear, so I'm loving it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the got to be glue and you're gonna spray it all on top of your um, the front of your lace, and you're gonna make sure that when you do this process that your hair is pulled back so that that way when you're cutting off the lace part you're not cutting your hair. Like don't do that. Like that is a rookie mistake. Don't be that. Don't do that. Next, you're going to take your spritz, and you're going to spray it on top of this bad boy like this. Now, I blow-dried it off of camera. And so, right here, you can see that the lace has already been melted. This is called, like, the ball cap method. Um, sometimes I do this on my wigs, and sometimes I don't. But I like it when I plan on applying my wig for a long period of time. As y'all can see, it is looking good. Say hi to lady in the background. She always somewhere close. I told y'all that. Um, I wanted to do this wig review because I really wanted to, like, like the summer months are coming up. And if you're like me, I'm a wet and wavy girl around the summertime. But I decided to kind of try it a little bit earlier to kind of see if I'm going to do some wet and wavy color during the summer, especially because it's hot. So that's what I did. Now, when you're cutting off, like you see this? Flawless. You want to make sure you get as close as you can when you are cutting the, um, when you're cutting this part off. Now, I'm going to tell you, you're going to go ahead and put your band on. You're going to melt it. You're going to go ahead and use your blow dryer, and you're going to blow dry it. Or you could do like I did, put your melting band on for a few, uh, about 30 to 40 minutes, 
and let it dry organically while you finna clean around the damn house. But as y'all can see right here, literally, I just left, like I said, a little bit of the edges all out. I'm gonna go ahead and use this handy dandy comb that they used. And I'm gonna go ahead and comb out my um, sideburns because are y'all gonna see in a minute that the wig is not a 13 by four. Um, do not quote me on this, but I think it's like a six by four. Um, it was just enough space that I needed, but yeah. So what I did was, as Ramaya interrupted me, um, what I did was, you're gonna take foundation or your your darkest concealer, and you're gonna go ahead and put it along the perimeter of your um, hairline, and you're gonna go as far back as you want. If you're a person like me, where I like to do a um, a bust down middle part, and I like to go all the way down, then you're gonna make sure that you have it down. This right here, I'm just cleaning up like the little speckies that's up. Now, like I said, this is the wig. You see this the inside. Um, like I said, this is a transparent lace. It comes with this little band. And one thing I loved about this band more than anything is I have a little head. I don't care how big my head look on the camera. I have a little head. So I have to make sure I adjust these straps just right. It got, um, one thing I didn't like about this wig though, I wish that it came with combs in the back that I could secure it. So just keep in mind, buy you some extra combs and put it on. So what, once again, as y'all can see, I place this bad boy on my head. And like I said, look, wear, lace wear. Look, glueless, boomy, shaka shaka, walk walk. No lace front glue, no none of that. It's just looking good. And I wanted to show y'all this part because I know people look, 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 look. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because look, look at this lace. Look it. Do you see it? And then you see my, like, my sideburns? Look. Now, rule number one, you when you putting on your lace front, please don't wear your lace front on your eyebrows because that is not cute. Now, I ain't gonna lie, this is the part that I did mess up on. I wish I didn't do this. Don't be like me. After you already applied the makeup on your um, wig cap, I ain't gonna lie. One thing about this wig, you really ain't gotta go in on the edges. I think I did too much on my edges. I feel like when you're applying it strictly on the lace, it should be your foundation, not your concealer. I mean, it looked good. I ain't gonna lie. It does, but... I noticed after a couple days, it gave me more of like an orangey type of look. But like I said, that's just my preference. I mean, you do what you do, boo-boo, and I do what I do, boo-boo. But I was very, very imp impressed. Now, I have done a wig fever wig before, but I've never done like a review like this before. And babies, um, they did not disappoint then, and I had a feeling they were not going to disappoint now. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what the heck I was dancing to, but just bear with me. So you see right here, I'm actually um, wiping off some of that orangey type of um, concealer. Like I said, I should have definitely used my foundation, but whatever. Nobody knows me like you do. Look at the back. Another thing, too, I wish I would have got it longer. Because if I'm not mistaken, this right here was a 22 inches. Um, I wish I would have, you know what I'm saying? Um, got a little longer. Um, it is true to length when it dries, and I do like that. Now, right here, you can see what I'm doing. I am literally, before I put product in, I wanted y'all to see what it looked like just putting water. Literally, I am just applying water. Um, my favorite thing about when it comes to wet and wavy, so you see, see how it's longer? I told y'all, you got to stretch it. You got to do a little stretchy stretch. And like I said, I'm just lightly putting water on it. Um, I didn't drench it. I just want to see what it looks like with it wet. 
Um, as you can see, it grew a little, you know what I'm saying? It grew a little bit. It grew a little bit. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put the water in. I just want y'all to see what the curl pattern looks like when there is no product and it is only water. Look. And, and look at the ends. The ends look full. I don't know if y'all ever had like wet away before and the ends be looking like stragglers. Little straggly. Yeah, you are not going to get that with this hair. You're going to get... And I think this right here was 150 density. Like you're going to get the thickness from the, the top to the bottom. Look, it looked full. It looked like it was growing right out of my scalp. And like I said... I'm definitely excited about it. So this right here is a little conditioner package that I bought at my local beauty supply. It has like olive oil and um, avocado, and it's a leave-in. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a little healthy, you know what I'm saying, amount, pull it to the front, and I'm going to just, I like when I go in with my conditioner, start like at the back and go in with the front, because ain't nothing like your hair moisturized, but to put the back with a little neck part, is dry because your neck is thirsty so look oh my god when I tell you this is and look I'm showing y'all because I want y'all to be like best friend did you did you put glue on it did you secure it I didn't I didn't do anything it's still glueless this is for my girls who do not like wearing glue wigs now so i recommend this hair for my girls that do not like to glue down wigs or don't know how to apply your lace fronts or don't want to do all them extra steps this is going to be for you now the reason why i wanted to add in this right here i don't know what i'm talking about but whatever the reason why look look at that up close look the reason why I wanted to show you guys right here because um actually this was maybe like three or four days later from um and I wanted to show you guys how it still was looking. I wanted to, you know, kind of wear it because it's nothing like when someone does like a wig review and they are Showing you what the hair look like straight out the box, blah, 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 but you're not really getting the effects of what the hair look like a couple days later once the hair is dry. Um, and as you can see, like, the hair is still have luster in it. It's looking good. The part look real. My edges look very authentic. Um, I actually got it in um, a little bun or whatever. Um, I'm about to go ahead and take off my band so y'all can see. Look, babies. Now, I told y'all the back do be lifting and stuff only because I need to put a, um, I need to put a, some combs in the back. But as y'all can see, my hairline look extremely real. Um, all I did was put spritz. So, for me, the thing that helps uh, my hair, because I, I ain't gonna lie, I feel like when you take your hair, your wig off and on, like I do every night, put in got to be glue on your wig, it messes up the lace. So for me, I normally just put spritz, and I don't put a lot. I literally, as you can see, look it, I'm combing it back, and it looks right out my, look, I can't make this up. This of how beautiful this lace is. God is good to me. So I'm going to go ahead and put some soft um, baby edges in here. And whatever. When you cut, I say cut at a slant. Cut at a little slanty slant. I don't know where my mousse is at. So, I'm going to treat my baby edges with a little edge control. This is my favorite. Alright, so, 
I have a lot. I don't want to do extreme edges, at least not for now. And then I'm going to um, when y'all cut it just cut it diagonally I haven't um, put any got to be spray on it yet like I said just a little bit of edge control when I do the edge control I don't really put it directly on the lace because you know we don't need the lace lifting but um and as y'all know I left my real hair out on the sides so that is what you see. That is what you see right there is my real hair. So I'm gonna push my it back. Next time I um mo next time I'm gonna be honest with you, I will get a um 13 by 4. Um I'm not a big fan of the length. But you know it's not a it's not a deal breaker either. You know it's not a it's not a deal breaker. Okay, so we trying to get just enough. Like I said, I don't want it to be extreme baby edges. That's what I call them, baby edges. Y'all call them baby ears. I call them baby edges. so pretty I can't make this up if I wanted to how pretty this damn hair is and then let me pull my baby let me put my little edges out on the side because I don't know where they went I think when I laid my hair down last night I think I put it in a lot so like I said the goal is to just when you wear stuff like this, you want that shit to look as natural. So if y'all can see, this is it. I'm gonna take my got to be. I'm gonna spray it just on my baby edges so they can just lay in place. I'm also gonna take my edge brush like this. And I'm just going to, and I think this part right here is so important just so you can get the illusion of like this is your hair it's just like brush up that the extra stuff you know what i'm saying like just brush up the extra stuff Whatever. We're gonna take my little band. We're gonna put that right there. It looks like I got a big head, y'all, but I don't. I swear I don't. All right, so I may keep the bun. I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, I don't think I'm gonna wear it down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put on my conditioner already got the part down the middle it looks really good my edges is looking good um i'm just go back with my brush and just clean up the edges as y'all can see this is a good this is a good wig baby this is not sponsored by wig dealer at all but babies i would love to do to like i said this video is not sponsored I'm just going on and on. Don't mind me. Um, so what I did was I just put some conditioner on the top. I think I was going out with my girls and I didn't want to do too much. But as you can see, I don't even need like a big brush. 
literally my edge control brush was enough i just wanted to show you guys like literally like like this hair is so easy to use i wind up leaving the bun in i'm doing a low bun it looked very classy and that was a look that i was going for um actually did i go to church this day i think so but like i ain't gonna lie to you i would love to work with wig fever um that is something i really really want to do so make sure y'all like comment and subscribe to this video um wig fever holla at your girl um so i'm going to put my lashes on trying to see what the finish look like um just so y'all can see what it looks together so just tune in so this is my hair same wig fever hello this is the hair washed i washed it last night and so i bought some um lot of body with milk honey um this is a mousse it says a medium hold for soft curls defined curls and adds body and shine no alcohol heavy on no alcohol and then i also got a lot of body with milk and honey it elongates me um curl stretcher light hold um it makes your curls more uniform as you can see and it makes the curls it just makes things look longer because Literally, when I first got it, it didn't look like it was the right length. But I love the fact that it literally, like, you know, makes it longer now. So that's what I did. I also bought this Bora Bora wax stick. And I pulled it right here. Amen. So we put it right there. Now, keep in mind, let me show y'all something really quick before I do it. It, just, it is not glued down, y'all. All the idea was just make my little baby edges. And then what I do is I just put that just like that. Just on the top. You know what I'm saying? So it can do what it do. Um, and yeah, that's all. That's literally all I did. I washed it with conditioner. Um, then I let it sit. Soaked it in some cold water. Rinsed it out really good. Let it air dry overnight. Literally, the curls was already popping like this. While um, adjust the band, put the product in it, put it on my head, and just make it do what it do. I did it, you know. I you see the girls that like, they blow dry it um, with the with the like the blow dryer or whatever. I didn't do none of that. I didn't squish it, no nothing. This is just how it came. So this is what it looks like in the back. It's really really nice. And um. So, if y'all see, if y'all see the product right here, so I'm going to show y'all when we just look at it. Scrunch, you know what I'm saying? If y'all want that look, and see, look, boom. So, this is it. Like I said, hopefully y'all like it. Hopefully y'all like it. I love it. Um, this is up close and personal. Like I said, it is what lace amen and then all i did was put a little bit of my foundation and dab it right on in there and boom boom make it do what it do what it do get you one Asking a lot of you.